Hi guys, still with Jack, and uh, welcome to my latest episode on the Jojo Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders anime by David Productions. I know I'm wearing the same clothes as I did yesterday, um, but I'm not because I washed it and it smells good. <coughs> but anyway, let's get on with the episode. Anyway, that's what you want to see. Um, so anyway, uh, I want to get on with it. I've got my book here and I've got my notes as I always do. <coughs> let's get on with the fucking thing. Uh, number one. It's the, like I explained in my last episode review, uh, slash summary, um, there was a part with Dio that they didn't include at the end of the episode. They wanted to just show, you know, the ship blow up and they move on their way, <clears throat> which is fair enough. And they showed it right at the beginning of the episode, but they cut a little bit out, but they do show it later. They just wanted to kind of make some uh, time between it, which is pretty cool. But they kind of, instead of doing this part, they, you know, sorry, instead of doing this part, they did like this part and then they had this part later. Um, anyway, uh, Dio does say his famous line, which is basically, he says, like, uh, if you want to, if you want to, <clears throat> if, if you have fears, you have to get over them kind of thing. I don't want to go through it because, um, I would like to tell you in another video that I would love to do. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's all in there. Uh, the next, there's an extra scene with Anne, where Anne basically is wandering about. She does wander off in the manga, but there's an extra bit where she's wandering, and she looks around, and she's like, oh, what's going on? Oh, oh. And then, uh, that's when she bumps into strengths, when she sees it. And everything is exactly the same in the manga there, if you've seen it. Um, uh, then there's a part, the part where the uh, crane's wobbling, and it comes down. And uh, what happens is, Joseph doesn't actually see it wobble at first. And he just kind of wobbles, and then it goes, Shh! And, it, and in, in the, if I can find the picture right now, um, it actually goes right through the face, if you can see it. It's so grotesque, it's, it's grotesque. It goes right through the face of a uh, one of the crew members that was on the previous ship, helping uh, Joseph Joe start that he's hired and stuff like that. It goes right through his face and stuff and brings him around. When they do that, I'm pretty sure that if you buy the Blu ray or DVD and when it comes out, that when the hook comes in, there's a lot of part that blackens the face as well. Like I said previously, when Jotaro smokes, they kind of like have a black, it's not even a mosaic, it's like an actual black smog around the face. So if they do that as well, it goes like that, and it kind of like has that. They show the blood dripping out, but they just have this, uh, like, they have the uh, the hook come round and smack me in the face, and then it goes black, and they have the blood dripping. And there is this scene, which is on the next page, which just shows like... <coughs> The actual hook going through his head like that, but they don't show that. They just show his legs with the blood dripping and the people looking at it, up at him like, "Oh my God, it's not like that." So um, that's it's not a bad thing. It's it's pretty good because they could have just like fucking cut it out. You know, they did a. I I'm proud of that. I think that's pretty fucking awesome. They did that, and I'm happy about that. Um, the next part is uh, I'll show you one part, which is here. I've opened the pages already. So this page here, right here. Uh, after it happens, Joseph yells at the staff, and basically he's just kind of like, uh, you know, search, search the deck, you know, just get out of the way, get out of the way, and then search, and do this and do that, and, and it's not actually in the, um, it's not actually in the anime, they cut that out, but it's, it, that's not, the, it's another small thing, like I said, with the restaurant in a previous episode when they meet Paul Riff. Um it's not a massive thing, so it's all cool. Um, then we've got uh, Strength. He pulls out like a, a Playboy kind of thing and pulls out the pinup. It's exactly the same picture. They never changed that like they did with the jump in the very first episode with Jotaro's in the cell. They opened the jump and they've actually got the same exact cover, which is pretty cool. And they kind of added like bio in it, which is uh, pretty fucking awesome to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, there's one part, um, I do believe after the Strength part, when she meets Strength and everything. There's this part right here. Where they actually come in and they're just like, um, you better get out of here, you don't know what the, we've been looking for you, you gotta keep safe, bitch. Well, they don't say that. They, they, they're rude about it, but I doubt they would say bitch, because they, they don't. But anyway, uh, yeah, that, that doesn't really happen, you know, they kind of missed that out as well, but the, um, as it goes into it anyway, uh, it goes into the, uh, it, as it does, you know, it goes for a few things, a few different things. I'm only doing a summary and then I'm doing my review. Uh, then it goes into the shower scene, shower scene. and um, in the actual manga, she takes her clothes off. And then it's very covered up because I think at the time, if I remember rightly from reading my data books, 
I like it Hirohiko could not draw women. So when he drew Anne, I mean, he did an amazing job. I right? it's fucking amazing. But he he couldn't draw, draw female body parts until later on, of course. And so that's why he did it very, you know, covered up and stuff. Whereas in the actual anime, uh, it does zoom in. It, it does zoom down, and you basically see her uh, her her ass, her ass, her ass. I'm sorry. I, I, I do apologise to all my American viewers. I can't I can't say it. I have to say ass because I'm British. Um, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I'm sorry. But anyway, they do show like ass, which is not in the manga, and it's just like I don't know if you like this sort of shit. Brilliant. Kissing like that. Anyway, um, yeah, that's in that. I'm just going for my notes because I do have a lot of notes. I do write a lot of notes when I'm watching the episode. I'm loving the episode. And I'll write the notes. I've got something I want to say at the end of this, by the way, but... Anyway, um... Uh, let's see... There we go. And, uh, then when Strength comes in, there's a there's a snapshot, which is this one. It's on the next page. It's this one right here. Where he looks and he's like, Oh, God! Woman's naked! And he goes into the commercial. Um... Then when he goes to commercial, it's all about Strength, but it just goes, Question mark, question mark, question mark. Stand question mark question mark question mark because you don't you don't know what it is you know like you know the episode's titled strength but you're like huh but I mean most people could put one and one together and go yeah I think either the uh, monkey or the stand is called strength most probably the the stand um, then something I'm gonna upload this later because this was brilliant I did tell you before that the the commercial for part five changed and where they had the new um, ultra jump well the new ultra jump is coming out very soon. And, of course, what they've done is, they've actually made a, another commercial, and this commercial actually has new colours. They've actually done different colours, plus, I I instead of um, Abakio talking, it's Fugo. Fugo actually says, hey, so, you know, there's a, the, the Jojo Leon Part 7 comes out soon. It's Monday, by the way. Oh, God, yes, I've pre-ordered that shit. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that that's coming out and stuff, so I'm like... It's a new, it's a new one. The colours have changed. Naranja's got some new, new words, and you know, Fugo actually gets to talk. And then instead of uh, Mister going, oh no, it's gonna fall in. I'm gonna fucking kill it. Instead of doing that, he just goes crazy, and this he just blames it on four. It's not really four. I want to upload that video to my channel later on because I I thought that was pretty fucking awesome over the second one, which was a little bit of a change. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that. Um, then it gets in when it gets to the. When, when Jotaro comes to attack strength, that's when the colours change as it does in all the battles. So, you know, Jotaro's a different colour and, and uh, the orangutan's a different colour. When he hits him, he's supposed to hit him with the, the lock from his cage. But when he hits him, it's actually off screen, so he's like, poof, like that. And the orangutan's like, Gee! like that. And uh, you, you don't know what the fuck happens. It's really weird. But still, you see him, like, afterwards, the orangutan, you know, the orangutan gets knocked back and he's holding the lock in his hand. He's like, like that. That's uh, so you know it's him with the lock anyway. Um, then there's a part where he's knocked back and uh, different things happen. And another thing is where he's holding um, Anne back. Like I said, if you haven't watched my previous episode, the name of the girl is Anne, uh, which has only been shown in this anime, by the way. It wasn't. She had no name in the manga, but in the anime, her name is Anne. But anyway, they hold her back like he holds her back like that, and you get to see another back shot. And you get to see a bum. If you like bums, if you like her ass, if you like that. Nice one. Go for it. Enjoy. Do what you want. Touch touch the place. Um, then um, it, there's a part where uh, he goes, you know, he goes into the wall and stuff, and they have a fight. When he comes out of the wall, um, he brings like a, he's wearing like a, a captain suit, and he's got the captain's hat, and he's got a book that explains what strength means, and it's got all these different words in English, like a thesaurus that has all these different words and what it means in Japanese. And the narrator actually, it doesn't happen in the manga, but in the anime. He actually explains. He actually goes straight into strength means this in Japanese. This, this, this. You know, it's like it's like well, you know, I think people know what strength means, but fair game, you know. Um, yeah. Um, I don't even know. I, I write my I write my uh, my notes pretty fast, so sometimes I can't even read what the fuck I'm talking about.
Um, no, I'm joking. Uh, basically, yeah, there's not like enough crazy stuff really about that. Um, anything that happens uh, until then. Then it gets to the part where it brings in a second part that I talked at the beginning of this episode where I said that he actually talks about um, where Dio comes back and Enya comes back and they talk about and Enya's like, I've got a son within all the stands that I mentioned previously and he's, you know, he's got two of the same hands. And they're like, oh, that's what Ponref, Ponref wants to get revenge and that's the guy. It's your, it's your son. But what stand is he? Mention stands, but which one is he? I don't know. I mean, you know, if you, if you read the manga previously, you know, but if you're watching the anime for the first time, watching my videos, I, who, what, when, how, seven, four? I don't know. Dog eggs. Who knows? Um, then, um, yeah, after that, it goes into, I'll show you, it actually goes into when they've defeated Strength, Strength gets blown up, and, um, it basically explains Singapore. Now, this happens, basically. It's these two pages, and he explains Singapore. And the uh, narrator's talking about Singapore, misses a few things out, but he basically makes the basic contact with it. Um, and it's supposed to happen... These two pages, right? Right? Sorry, that's my bookmark. These two pages are supposed to be where Anne's talking and stuff. They'll probably be in the next episode, but the fact is that they get in, and there's a new scene where Joseph basically goes... Blah, 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 and talks about, it's just a new scene, and he's basically saying, like, we've landed in Singapore, we've got a ways to go, and Ponref's like, well, you know, I've still got to do what I've got to do, and then they skip all the things, and it shows a scene, which is actually past where my bookmark is, because I always place my bookmark for the next episode for my next review, which shows this, and it goes straight into the hotel, and shows the doll for the next part. Not going to spoil because I don't like to spoil every time I do, even though I probably have, I do apologise if I have. But basically, uh, the next episode, episode 8, is called Devil, and it's after Devil from the next episode, which we'll talk about next time on the next episode, yes, review, yes. Um, that was a summary. The review, um, taking out this, the uh, part 5 commercial, which I fucking loved, by the way, let's talk about the actual episode. It was a good episode, it covered strength in one, basically, uh, full episode, and they did it fucking well. The part where the crane comes down and gets the guy, they couldn't have shown that any other way. Um, there is a part where Joe Toro smokes again, and it's kind of semi-blacked out slash cut out. But that's what happens on a TV version. On the Blu-ray, it's not going to be any different, I think. I've had some people in comments and actually emailing me saying, do you think that they're going to show him smoking honestly and I'm like eh, they might do but from what DVDs I've seen it's here and there it's really weird um <sighs> so yeah it's uh I've had a hard day at work and it's literally like well when I finish recording it's gonna be about 120 or something anyway uh other stuff for that I like the fact that they actually showed who's gonna show up in the next episode I'm happy with that um I'm happy with this episode um, they showed everything that Dio would say, they actually put Dio in it, because I do miss... Uh, Dio does have a lot of stuff in the beginning with Shadow Dio, and I think it's pretty cool, because you don't see his stand, you don't know anything. You don't even know if Dio's got a stand. I mean, you're pretty sure that he does when you're reading a manga, but you're like... I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm so sorry, I keep yawning, I do apologise. Um... Anyway, yeah, I did enjoy the episode. It had quite a lot. It did get rid of strength really fast, but it actually, it actually got in some stuff, and it did it really well. And I'm very happy about that. It was a good episode, um, one of the better ones. Not, I've obviously said previous ones where I'm like, I love this, or I don't. I like, oh, it's all right. But this one's good. I would rate it like if it was like ten was the best episode, not like perfect, but like the best. Um, I'd probably give this like a 7 or 7, I'll probably give this a 7.5, it was a really good episode, it was, um, but yeah, anyway, um, thank you for watching this, and I'm gonna do another one next week, as I always do, uh, two things I wanted to say, number one, they released the, uh, Blu-ray slash DVD, uh, like how many there are gonna be, so they're gonna be six DVDs, each with six episodes, which basically means that there's going to be around 30 to 35 episodes for the, the for this Stardust Crusader season. 
So um, that's pretty fucking awesome. I'm happy with that. Unless they go back on it, but I'm pretty happy with that. Each, if you buy each special edition, it comes with a different thing. They've actually said they're going to have uh, Nikonomia, which is the uh, thing. What Dio implants in the people to control them, what Ponorif and Kakuin had in the heads. You can actually get that as earphones. There's another one where you can get a t shirt. There's another one where you can get a special box to hold all the, the uh, Blu rays or DVDs in. There's different things, it's amazing. Um, I'll go and more into that later because I'm going to slowly collect them and stuff. And uh, yeah, they're going to be expensive by the way. They're going to cost you uh, 9,500 yen or 95 bucks, basically 100 bucks for the Blu ray slash DVDs. Yes, I'm not even joking about that. You can even go check, I'm not even joking. Um, yeah, about 80, uh, 86 quid, I don't know. Um, yeah, and uh, part two I want to say is that tomorrow. Is going to start uh, the Jojo, uh, how do I say it? It's the Ichiban Kuji, like a raffle thing, basically in Japan. I would love to show you how it happens, but I know that if I record it, I'm either going to get funny looks or I'm going to get told to shut it off. But I'll try and do it, but if not, I do apologize. You basically, you see a whole thing of goods like that. And it happens tomorrow, by the way. Uh, if you haven't seen it on the internet, it's it actually starts from part one, part two, and part three. It's all of them, and it's different goodies. And basically, you get a box, and you uh, you you go to the thing anyway, and it will be like, for example, five hundred, six hundred, so five bucks, six bucks a pop. It's like a raffle, but you win something, but it's not guaranteed. So you basically you go, okay, so you know tomorrow I'm gonna be fucking <laughs> all of them. Just give me everything. Buy the store's mine. Just give me the fucking anyway. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, take a couple, you put them down and they give you a box, you put your hand in the box and you pull out the card and, uh, they've got what is, um, for example, H, H would be, uh, H rank would be, um, like the, the cheapest kind of thing. And then you've got G and it'll go up, blah, blah, blah. And then you get like B is very rare and A is like super rare. And then you've got one which is last one and it literally is the person that goes into the shop puts the hand in and grabs the very last one. Even if it says like F, G, H or whatever. As long as it's the last one and they can confirm it, you get the last one prize. So the last one prize is literally one per convenience store. And as you can see, if you sell that, you get a lot of fucking money. But if I get it, oh my god, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna backflip everywhere, I'm gonna, there'll be lasers, there'll be seminal fluid destroying the world anyway um i'll be doing that tomorrow the point was that i'm going to be doing that tomorrow and i think i'm going to make a very big video about that i'm going to shave tonight so i don't have this very horrible beard if you do like the beard tell me because i i kind of like the beard but i don't so please tell me um anyway that was the episode i do apologize for going off on a run but i wanted to talk about different things um i've also got another video out that i'm going to be doing uh very soon um, I've been busy or I've socially or work-wise. Um, I've got other stuff. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to me. And as always, bum press. Thank you very much. Bum press, bum press. I press the rising.